Uh, in Nyeri, relatively Nyeri has been a very peaceful county since the time of uh, President uh, Kibaki. Nyeri is always calm and uh, we love peace. We have always endeavored to dialogue instead of demonstrations. And uh, where there is a, a disagreement, people sit and discuss. And that is why Nyeri has kept on developing. Because uh, it is so unfortunate that our young people, through desperation of joblessness and the hard economic times, uh, they are being incited to go to the streets where they are being injured, some even lose their lives. And uh, it is an unfortunate event because it happens every five years after elections. So we want to call upon all political parties, including Azimio, to embrace peace and also to advise that young people, it is through hard work and labor that we can change the economy of the time. It is just through hard work and not through protest. You know, the president of this republic is a president of all people, including Azimio, including UDA, including Jubilee. And the president is accessible, especially if it is the leader of opposition. He just needs to go to the president and knock, and have a seat, have a cup of tea and discuss. I don't think the president's doors have been closed at any one time. He's always ready to meet the leaders. So I think it is a good thing for him to go and discuss the issues. Instead of going for protest, it is good to sit and talk instead of sending people to there. It is not always the right channel. But there are several things that have happened in the country. The, the issue of the bipartisan talk that uh, are fraught. Uh, and I want to say uh, this one depended on how parties, both sides of the divide, uh, uh, are hard on this issue. Uh, as much as uh, each party wa wanted to move forward, there has to be a commitment. Uh, this is the route that. Uh, we proposed as the UDA party, even the, the president himself and the deputy president were the one who were for the bipartisan talk. They are the one who in fact pr proposed how it should be done. The only issue was the modalities of harmonizing the bipartisan talk. And uh, the proposal of the UDA was this had to go through parliament. And that was the first arrangement that was there. Basically, when the, this thing started, we all know what happened. There were demands. There were some people who were, wanted to be integrated outside parliament. And maybe which, which area there was no actual agreement. I think uh, we are not against the bipartisan talk in this country. People can always go back to the close road. And we are saying we were for bipartisan talks. But the formalities should be in line with the agreement between parties, where all parties are able to compromise and also look on the side that you're not bringing what is not possible for the other party, just making hard rain. We know people have thrown hands about, about the bipartisan talks, but for the UD party, we are for, for the bipartisan talk, but it should fall the correct channel. Through the members of parliament, we start with that one. And uh, when the president uh, tweets, that uh, he's ready to meet the opposition leader, Muzaira Raira. Uh, it doesn't mean that it is a handshake. No, this government has no room for handshakes. We saw what it did to the last uh, government. But they can sit and talk about other issues, but not sharing of government. When we chose this government, we knew there were to be people in government and others to be in the opposition. Let everybody sit in his rightful place. If you're in opposition, remain in opposition. And build the country in opposition. Those in government, they build the country with the manifestos that we have. I think that is all I would say.